to bring in your footage. You've recorded a log C image with your look that's embedded as metadata. You have to bring it into your, into your editing system. Adobe and uh, Avid and Colorfront and Silverstack are the first four tools to offer full 3D lookup table support from the Amira files. That means um, in an edit editing tool like Premiere Pro, you would load a standard log C file from the camera and Premiere automatically applies uh, a lumetry effect, that's what they call it, um, to the footage using exactly the 3D lookup table that was embedded in the metadata. So as soon as you open it up in your preview monitor, the, the footage contains this, this 3D lookup table. In Avid, um, they also make use of a 3D lookup table, plus they give you um, the option to, to control the CDL parameters that are embedded in the look. So you still have a little bit more control over the, over the image. You can still change the color balance a little bit, maybe change the tonal balance a little bit uh, in that regard. If you use Silverstack in its latest version, Silverstack also will allow you to open up log C footage and not just apply a standard conversion to Rec. 709 video, but actually use the 3D lookup table that was monitored while you were doing your shot, or while the, while the operator was doing his shot. Um, and then last but not least, of course, we have uh, Colorfront here, which is a, it's a great dailies tool, and they also allow you to, to read in um, the, the 3D LUT that was used in camera, and actually you get all controls over the CDL parameters, so you can, you can you know, adjust, uh, adjust your footage and then render out your dailies. If you're in an editing tool that does not support native log C footage or even the looks of the Amira, you would have to go through a, a, for a dailies tool like a Colorfront Express dailies or maybe Resolve to actually process video files from your, from your footage. In that case, you can use the Amira color tool also to open up a clip and save the look that was used in the footage as a 3D lookup table and then apply it in the, in the other application. In a standard dailies workflow, it would work like this. You'd have your, your log C footage loaded into your dailies tool, create video dailies, including the look that you're using. Then bring these dailies into your editing tool, make your edit, create an, an EDL or AEF file, bring that into your mastering tool. And in the mastering tool, you're going back to the original log C footage and conform from that and apply the original look that was used. So this pretty much sums it up for the new look workflow that's available with the Amira camera. Again, my name is Oliver Zemmler. Thanks for watching.